Congratulations on being admitted to the University of West Florida. You certainly made a great decision in coming to UWF. You will find no university that better engages students than UWF. Within the Hal Marcus College of Science and Engineering, we pride ourselves on getting students involved in research early and getting students ready for the next phase of their lives, whether that's industry or graduate school. Listen to what our leaders have to say about being successful in your chosen major. As a STEM major in the Hal Marcus College of Science and Engineering, you will have access to some of the state-of-the-art uh, facilities to complete your education. So for example, um, I'm standing here in the atrium of the brand new um, Science Annex, Building 58C. Um, this is a $26 million, 52,000 square foot um, building that houses faculty offices and 12 teaching labs that you will uh, have access to in order to learn um, state-of-the-art techniques to further your education. As part of the undergraduate experience in the majors of biology and chemistry, uh, we are predominantly focused on undergraduate research and training of undergraduate students in laboratory skills. So as part of your degree, you will take a lot of labs. Um, this is the benefit of having the new, brand new science annex is to get state-of-the-art equipment into these labs for undergraduates to work with so that we can train um, the students on the state-of-the-art techniques for their future careers. Our faculty are nationally renowned for working with undergraduate students in research labs, much like the one I'm standing in today. We believe that undergraduate research is the pinnacle of your career here at UWF. It's the place where you get to assimilate information that you learn in traditional lectures and labs to answer unanswered original scientific questions alongside a faculty mentor. Our undergraduate research groups typically range from two undergraduate research students all the way up to potentially 15 undergraduate research students. And the best part for you is that you can get involved as a freshman student. We have undergraduate research opportunities available every fall, spring, and summer semesters. In fact, many of our students get paid to do summer undergraduate research here on campus at UWF, as well as off campus. Many of our students have been paid to go do research at world-renowned institutions like Caltech, NASA, Johns Hopkins, Monterey Bay Aquarium Institute, Air Force Research Labs. Oftentimes, our students will present at national and international conferences, and oftentimes they win Best Presentation Awards at those conferences. Students also routinely co-author original scientific publications with their faculty mentors. And because of the productivity and success with undergraduate research students, our faculty have been awarded more than $5 million in research funding from international and national acclaimed agencies such as NASA, the Department of Defense, Environmental Protection Agency, National Science Foundation, NOAA, National Institutes of Health, just to name a few. This obviously makes students much more competitive for their next steps. So I invite you to join an undergraduate research group. And in fact, we welcome you to undergraduate research here in Hal Marcus College of Science and Engineering. In our college, we put a lot of emphasis on hands-on experiences, practical experiences. We do that, for instance, in our labs. And some labs are geared towards helping you understand lecture material but in many of our labs, we teach what I call real world methods, practical methods that you can apply in the workforce after you graduate. We also give our students hands-on experience and field trips. And this depends on your major, but in my department, for instance, environmental science, we run quite a few field trips and biology also has a very active field program. Other departments offer comparable opportunities for their students, such as uh, capstone courses or a practica. I encourage you to seek out those opportunities because I learned to trade not in lecture, but in the field and in lab with my PhD advisor. The difference is that here at UWF, you can get the same opportunities or very similar opportunities as an undergraduate. So from that perspective, you certainly made the right decision in coming here. At UWF, you will get more hands-on experience than at most other universities. 
In engineering, we have projects that give our students years of experience designing and building complex systems. For example, our students design and build a mini Baja race car that competes nationally each year. We have many different competitions that our students do, including a rocket team, an unmanned vehicle team, uh, various planes that we fly, and rockets, and even a human-powered vehicle. But our students do more than just compete to win. Our students also work to help others. Our Work on Tots project has gained local and national attention by helping children with special needs increase mobility. Our students get great satisfaction in seeing their designs have such an impact on people. In total, we host over 25 different projects in engineering each year. The Center for Environmental Diagnostics and Bioremediation is a research center within Hal Marcus College of Science and Engineering. CEDB engages in basic and applied research pertinent to the assessment and improvement of environmental health. Since our beginning over 30 years ago, we have recognized the value and need for getting students engaged in research experiences outside the classroom. We have supported hundreds of students in our labs. Our funding from grants provide research and training opportunities for graduate and undergraduate students on projects right in our backyard in the Gulf of Mexico to international projects in some of the most remote places on earth. These experiences are critical to science majors as they plan for the next step. Whether continuing on to graduate school or seeking employment, whatever you have planned after you graduate from UWF, the faculty and staff of CEDB are ready to provide opportunities for you to meet your goals. We have very strong relationships with local employers who offer numerous internships and co-op opportunities to our students. Uh, for example, our students have done internships with GE, Gulf Power, Navy Federal Credit Union, Northrop Grumman, the Air Force Research Labs, just to name a few. Uh, these opportunities provide our students with valuable hands-on experience. They can earn credits towards their degree and they can earn anywhere between $13 to $30 an hour. Advances in technology have led to critical shortages in the industry for professionals with software development and cybersecurity skills. We, the Department of Computer Science, offer undergraduate degrees in computer science, cybersecurity, and software design and development. They will give you the technical skills highly sought by industry You'll be able to pursue career paths as a software engineer or information security analyst. These career opportunities are projected to grow by 20 to 30 percent over the next 10 years, according to the Bureau of Labor Statistics. Have you thought about your career goals? Our recent graduates are employed across a variety of job sectors, including healthcare, finance, manufacturing, pharmaceutical, aerospace, energy, and cybersecurity. Some of these employers include Northrop Grumman, Navy Federal Credit Union, the U.S. and Florida Environmental Protection Agencies, the U.S. National Park Service, Accenture, IBM, Facebook, and the United States Department of Defense in both civilian and active duty roles. The UWF Career Services Office can help you find internships and full-time employment opportunities, along with providing assistance with resumes and conducting mock interviews. We host a variety of on-campus meet-and-greet sessions with employers to help you fulfill your career goals. At Hal Marcus College for Science and Engineering, we have two very unique programs to help students succeed both academically in the classroom and beyond. The first program is called STEM Peer Coaching. This is where if you are taking college algebra, calculus one or calculus two, you have an opportunity to talk with a student who's already taken those classes and will help guide you through new study skills, time management, as well as campus referrals such as tutoring. The second program that we have is called Math Success and Chem Success. If you are taking college algebra, calculus one, calculus two, or chemistry one, and chemistry too. You will have an opportunity to have a small group problem solving sessions led by a student who has also taken those classes and will help you give you hands on practice with solving problems. Both of these programs are students helping other students succeed. Many students approach physics as being exclusively about solving problems, but it's more than that. Having a firm grasp of the concepts is essential for breaking down a situation to the key ideas. Spend time reading your book and take notes about the concepts. Review the example problems and work through the process on your own. When you go to solve problems, visualizing the situation with the diagram, listing all the given facts, and identifying the key concepts is crucial before you do anything. Always write the relevant equations and do the algebra before plugging in the numbers. And remember that physics is there to help you understand the world. 
This is the best advice we can give you to help you succeed. Calculus takes time. Plan to spend six to seven hours per week. Go to class, every single class. Work together, study with a friend. Attend calculus workshops and tutor sessions. When you solve a problem, spend a short time, say half a minute. Think about what you have done in that problem. A correct answer is important, but a correct process, carefully used, will lead you many correct answers. Have fun, work hard, good luck. Calculus is beautiful and powerful. Academic advising is a critical component of your educational experience at UWF. As a new student, you will work with your assigned first-year advisors. After your first full year at UWF, a new advisor in Hal Marcus College of Science and Engineering will guide you through completing your degree. The HMCSE Advising Center is on the second floor of Building 4. It is here the Director of Advising and our professional advising staff will assist you with course selection, degree planning, understanding the degree requirements of your major, and provide referrals if needed to offices or programs that support your success. We look forward to meeting with you soon. Welcome to UWF and Go Argos! We look forward to seeing you on campus, in the classrooms and online. We are here to help you succeed. Ask questions, get involved, have fun. Welcome Argos!